hi Felters and welcome. So the dogs. Um, I think you can see that there's not 24 dogs here. Actually I only managed to do 15. Um, I started out doing really well. I was doing them before Christmas in between commissions and I did find that difficult. I really wanted the video done but the longer I went on the harder it became and you just have to accept that some things you aren't that I don't think I'm bad at felting because some of them were okay but it just wasn't coming naturally and it was really really hard and I sold a couple at um, one of the Christmas markets I did as well so that was good but they've been sitting there since then and I just haven't wanted to do them and um, that's the Siberian Husky that's as far as I got and I just it just wasn't me and you know it's a fantastic book so I got all the way through to page uh, or to the 15th dog I think it is Siberian Husky so I did quite well let's just see the picture of them all there um, and I loved some of them but sometimes certain felts just don't work for you and you have to be brave enough to move on and not worry about it so I've done um, the video of the ones that I've done the first one I talk you through a little bit and I thought I would show it to you still so that you could have a look and see because some of the ones I've done are cute and it's a really good book but um, I didn't finish it so sorry about that but have a look through so here we are on the first dog which is the Shetland Sheepdog so I will show you the process of it with just the first one and then everything else is going to be speeded up because even 15 dogs is an awful lot um so you do the body as a cylindrical shape and then put the hips on as sort of just two round blobs then do a um a, a long bit fold it in half to get a nice toe and then the front legs i did with pipe cleaners and i rolled wool around them gave them a little bend at the end for the paws and that works quite well and you just attach them on just use a big needle so that um, when you're working with the pipe cleaners you're less likely to break your needle and then you just follow the patterns in the book they do have separate sort of pattern page of where all the colors should go and the sort of marks you should follow i had most of the walls because they're all quite sort of natural animal colors the grays and the browns so it wasn't too bad didn't have to order loads of extra wool that's a little bit of uh, black for the nose really really simple the eyes I had tiny little plastic eyes but you could just use black wool it's not a problem and then with the Shetland sheepdog um, he's got sort of quite long shaggy fur so it was folding through the middle and then folding down and that gives that shaggy effect and most of the wools I use on these dogs I think apart from one of them are carded um, just to show you that the carded, especially because they're so small, carded wool can be used in a lot of um, situations basically and it can be made to look like a shaggy coat. But I think the trouble was that they were quite small which got to me in the end. Um, my felts are normally a little bit bigger so I think that's probably why I struggled. But you just follow the colour guide patterns. I think he had a lighter colour leading into a slightly darker colour. And then you go into the white but yeah he was really quite easy to do the sitting down shape once you do it once you sort of get used to it and the ears are just a little triangle leave one side of the triangle fluffy and that's the side you attach and then you just fold the ear down and then so this is all the carded white fluff um let's put his ears on and then i had to do quite a bit of trimming to get his um, coat to look right a lot of upward trimming because it was just sort of sticking out there we go just trimming him down and he wasn't too bad I really liked him first one sometimes they're too fluffy and you have to felt them in a bit always easier if it's too fluffy there we go so that's the first one done he's lovely and there's my dog thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> Looking at this dog. On to the next one. So this one is the bulldog. And yeah, he was really nice. And again, he's sitting down position. So cylindrical with two hips. And then just, you just need the, the little pipe cleaners. 
and um, he sold actually at the craft fair so that was really really good but yeah I really liked him um, when you put the creases through like he's got sort of folds in the skin at the back you just do a line a sort of a felted line a couple of lines up his back and that works really really well so there he can see he's sort of got the creases in the back but yeah he was sweet really liked him so the next one oh yes no I like this one a lot and again this one sold this is it says it's a golden retriever puppy but it kind of looks like a Labrador puppy as well but really easy oblong body and then the two back legs and the front legs sticking forwards and a tail and I mean he's great I think this would be a really good seller if you you know were thinking of doing dogs and he did sell and you know so he's lovely and there were a couple of other positions for the puppies as well but yeah I really really like this one again I'm still very hopeful at this stage that I was going to complete them all no he's lovely So the next one is the old English sheepdog and he's standing up. So I just did a pipe cleaner frame, nice and easy. And um, again, I found his coat. It's like doing a Highland cow to me. So it was quite easy. You just fold it down and he was just really fluffy. So I had to trim him and felt him in a bit. There you go. But yeah, again, he wasn't too bad. I was fairly happy with it. Especially when you look at the book, you think, yeah, he looks about the same. Not too bad. So the next one toy poodle so I've done all of him and I'm just doing his coat and I've used the blue faced Lester wool that I used for my lamb and it gives a lovely poodle effect and again he sold so obviously he was all right um, but yeah makes it a lot easier this uh, coat effect there we go so yeah he's gone off to a nice home and then this one is the wire fox terrier quite straightforwards again the face is quite long with the fluffy bit around the nose it wasn't too difficult um, and there they are on the shelf I was hoping to have all 24 of them on the shelf but it didn't quite happen so the Shibu Ina and this is where it went a bit wrong um, he was too big I did him too big that was my fault and the bits around his eyes he looked like Batman you'll see any second now I have changed his eyes now look it looks like he's wearing a Batman mask and when he was at the craft fair everyone thought he was a fox that's not good is it <laughs> so the next one uh the shih tzu beautiful I really like the shih tzu the face and the broadness you just get that broad face and it's really cute and sweet so that one was really nice I was pleased with that one and the next one's Dalmatian not too bad again on the on the uh, body shape but I think my spots should have been a bit bigger. You'll see in a minute in the picture. Um, I think it just, yeah, some of the black spots should have been a bit bigger to make him look a bit better. But yeah, he's really sweet and he sold as well. So that one's gone. Sounds like I did quite well when I keep saying that. But um, And so again, this is the line up getting a little bit longer on the shelf. And then the next one is the pug. And it didn't go right. The face was wrong. Body's fine. Tail's fine. And he does have a nose, my pug. You just can't see it. I just didn't do it right. And I just wasn't happy with him at all, to be fair. It was so small. And I think that was my issue. It was just too small. And then this is the Beernese Mountain Dog. I didn't quite get the head shape. Uh, body's okay. Colour's all right. But just the head wasn't right. This one is the Chihuahua. Lovely. Very sweet. I had a slightly different colour. That's all but not too bad. And then we've got the Doberman uh, pincer, which is the smaller Doberman. The head wasn't quite right again, but it, it wasn't horrendous. Oh, King Charles Cavalier Spaniel was really sweet, and I quite like that, and I've nearly got the head shape. The nose wasn't quite long enough, but very sweet colours. And then that's it. I think the last one is the Bull Terrier. So, again, wasn't too happy with that. But there we go. Sometimes some felts just don't work for you and I had to it just wasn't me so I was pleased with what I did and the ones I sold the book is lovely I will put it in the description below there's a lot of dogs in the book so it's great value for money I hope you've enjoyed what I have done take care everybody and see you again soon